What's up, guys? Espo Strap Baseball Network. Quick, uh, quick video here. Uh, as you can see, I'm watching uh, Dave's baseball demos, the Stratomatic Double Elimination Tournament, League of Desperation. Definitely recommend if you're not subscribed to him to definitely subscribe to him now. Uh, just started watching that, Dave. So good stuff. <clears throat> so what I wanted to do is I'm gonna start a new project, and I'm kind of in the mood for something. Started to think about everything and uh, just wanted to do something quick, uh, what I what I deem to be quick if I stick to the schedule, and uh, something to just pass the time until uh, the new cards come out. Really quick, opening day is February 10th, uh, and I will be going to opening day at Strat in New York. I will be broadcasting live as much as I possibly can. Um, I don't know if Strat would have a problem with that, so... I may not be doing a lot of, like, inside when you go to get your cards, because you really only go into, like, one door, and they give you your cards, and you kind of leave, so, uh, but I will be broadcasting, uh, hopefully, if anybody can make it, I'll see you there, and anybody who subscribed that come, that, that, that stops by, maybe we can, you know, get on camera together, so that'd be kind of cool. That being said, uh, I'm definitely want to show off my new project. This is the new score sheet for the new project, so what I did here is, just have the, uh, I'm gonna, I really should start using screencast, I know Dave used screencast a couple of times, and I like the way it looked, so, uh, real basic, nitty gritty here, home and away, uh, everything here, this will also populate, I have these linked to, down here, the runs, the hits, and the errors, so, whoever is here, just say there was a hit, You'll see that it'll populate in the upper right-hand corner here. So, um, just just some quick things. And then what I did was I also put the uh, ballpark base hit and ballpark home run here for easy, uh, just easy for me to to be able to track. So then what here you have here is the automatic dice roller. This is the single die. This is the double die. This is the twenty. So I'll just say this was the first at bat, and he grounds out. Once I press enter, it'll now give me the next roll, which will be 312 on his card, and it'll be a 20 already for the for the for the dice roll. So if I need a 20 roll, whether it's a ballpark homer, ballpark base hit, or you know a split chance, that'll already be rolled for me. Now if it is an X chance, I just hit delete or F or whatever any button you want, and it'll automatically give me the next roll. So just wanted to show that off. If anybody wants the formula for that, it's super easy. I'll actually just hover over. Uh, you just go equals rand between and then whatever you want the random numbers to be between. Just sometimes I don't like to roll uh, dice late at night. Sometimes it makes a little too much noise, and this way I could just kind of just sit in one spot with the cards, which is great. So, so there's that, and I just started putting together the sheets at the bottom, and there will be 54 sheets, and I'll get to that in a minute. And then what I did here is this is just a regular uh, spreadsheet. This is going to be for pitchers and batters. So this will be any batter that's on the team at that time. And then I have the at-bats, runs, hits, doubles, triples, homers, etc., 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 strikeouts, errors, and then I have the, it'll populate the batting average. And then PA is overall plate appearances for that season. So whatever team's cards I use, it'll be for that season. So just say this person had 200 plate appearances. You're going to notice something there. So you're going to see 66.666667. That's going to get, I'm going to knock out the two, uh, I'll do that right now actually so everybody can see it. I'm just going to remove the decimal places here. And what this is going to do, it's going to shed a little bit more light on the project. See now it just says 67, which is perfect. And I'm going to have to do that in the remaining. So now what the remaining is, is basically uh, however many at-bats you would have here minus whatever is here so since there's none it'll just be that there's zero so you know this they, they still have 66 left the reason for that is i'm going to do a 10 team 54 league 54 game uh, league along the same lines of tenacious strat uh, i've been toying with the idea of the 10 team league and uh just really quick let me to go to here I'll show you 
I have a Word document ready with the, uh, the, the schedule. Okay, so it's basically a 54-day schedule, 54-game schedule. So you'll be able to see that I have all of that lined up. And I still haven't picked the teams yet. I probably won't add the team names here. It'll just be easier for me to just keep uh, running track of what team is what team. Uh, what I did with that is in my stat list, I have one more page here, which is going to be the teams, what rank they are. The rank will be the team number they are. So just say the Mets are team one. They will be team one on that schedule. And then it'll be their win-loss percentage and the games behind, et cetera, et cetera. Real basic stuff there. Uh, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a ten-team league. It's going to be multiple seasons. I'm basically gonna pick my favorite teams or teams that were the most intriguing to me. Uh, something along the lines of like I, I the 2001 uh, San Francisco Giants. Not saying Barry Bonds wasn't a cheater, but that Barry Bonds 73 home run card. Really want to use that card. Like I really. Really want to put a season together with that card just to see how many home runs he would hit in 54 games. Um, I have 1934, uh, 1955, uh, 63, 67, uh, 77, 82, 86 will not be used because there's not enough players in that one. Um, I have 90, 93. 2001, 2002, 2003, 2006, uh, 2014, 2015. And I have some ancillary teams, like just a couple of teams sprinkled here and there that I probably won't use, except maybe like I have the 69 expansion teams. So I do have like the 69 uh, pilots, et cetera, et cetera. Maybe I'll throw one of them in as a wild card. But uh, So yeah, this is the, this is the, the like I said, this is the, the box score. Um, Going back to the to this list, what I did with this here is the reason why I have this set up this way is that since it's a 54 game season, 54 games is um, one third of the real baseball season. So that's why I have here divided by three. So it'll be the 200 divided by the three. I don't know why it's so dark like my hand isn't that dark uh anyway it'll be the 200 divided by three which would give me 67 at bats so what will happen here is just say this is barry bonds and he has four at bats but he doesn't have a hit you see how that instantly changes so the batting average changes to zero and it says that he has 63 uh, plate appearances left okay so just something you know the plate appearances is going to be the it's going to be the total plate appearances the hits and the walks uh, the at-bats and the walks, rather, uh, to get a, a true sample. And then down here at the bottom, to the pitchers, uh, each team is usually going to have either four or five starters, depending on how far I go back. Like if I take a team from 1934, pro may only have three starters. Depends on if they can fill that void. And the, the void I'm talking about here is, uh, for starting pitchers, I have the actual game started, which is AGS. So actual game started from that year. Rema uh, replay game started, which is RGS, so that's going to be whatever their actual game started was divided by three. So if a person only had 15 starts for the season, uh, you divide that by th by three, they're only going to get five starts for the entire replay. So do you really want to keep somebody on that uh, on the roster for that reason? And then you got the remaining. That's just basic for me, just the amount of games started in this season for the GS there, uh, minus the replay game started which will give me the total overall uh bullpen guys i'm gonna just police myself i was thinking about doing innings pitched and dividing that by three uh, that's gonna get very tedious and i just i'm not looking for this to take up a lot of time that's why i kind of went with this and didn't go with like a notebook or something uh most of the games like actually every game is gonna just be um just thrown up on here and then what i'll do is i'll go side by side with the two so with this one and with the previous one let me see if i could do that for you right now just to show you how i'm gonna work that so i'm gonna have this here and then this here and then i'll just do like a, a, a just the first game will just be a copy and paste over but then every game subsequent game after that i'll just look at the lineups and just add the people over so i got the spot here uh, for the name and then i got the position and then i got their rating so if they're a, a four 
minus one e one type of thing. So you can see that that it'll just stick in their center fielder or whatever the case may be. And then I got the hold here for the pitchers and what their whatever their e rating is. So if they're a, a two e forty, uh, two e forty five. That shouldn't have done it that way. Let's see. Should be two space e forty five. That'll give me what I want. There we go. So two e forty five. Um, yeah, so that's really it. Uh, I'm going to start mulling over the ideas of teams and who I want in. And again, like I said, oh, and I have half of 1987. As I'm talking, I'm starting to get a couple of these ideas out in my head. Um, just going to start to think about who I want in the league and who I want to have fun with. That's the most important thing. I've realized that I've tried to do leagues in the past or projects by myself and nothing that I've posted uh, where I get so involved and so invested in what I want to do and then I start to nitpick the teams that are in it, and then I don't pick teams that I'm going to have fun with. I pick teams that just I think are going to be good because they'd be good for a replay, and then I wind up fizzling, fizzle, fizzling out, easy for me to say, after so, so many games, and it's just like, eh, I should have just went with my gut and picked the teams I like. So there's not going to be, there's going to be some eyebrow you know, raises when it comes to the teams, uh, but I'm literally going to go over there soon and take all of my cards out and start to mull over the idea and then once i have those 10 uh, i'll st i'll do a video and um just show you the 10 teams i picked uh, the step after that is going to be i'm not going to broadcast every game whether it's live whether it's uh whether it's recorded it's going to take up too much time what i'm thinking of is take one game of the week or game of the day so if i do this first day and as you can see, the days are staggered. So day one has only six teams going, but day two has all ten. I'm going to pick one game from these, and I'll do a broadcast on it. Kind of like, you know, a Sunday Night Baseball, game of the week. And then I'll do that for game for day two and day three. So technically, outside of the playoffs, you should get 54 brand new uh, posts from me. And what I'm hoping is if I can have the time in a day, especially with baseball season, complete, uh, football season rather, completely winding down, uh, get my Mondays and Thursdays back outside of watching Rangers hockey, I think that uh, I'm going to attempt to knock out one day per day. So I would like to say that this should take me from beginning to end no more than 60 to 65 days, playoffs included. Uh, speaking of playoffs, as I run through, and I didn't take any notes for what I wanted to say here, so if I'm a little jarbled, I apologize. Again, still getting back into the swing of things on how uh, to post my videos. So um, the next step would be that I was thinking about doing what Earl's doing for Tabletop was going 5-5 five and five American National. Uh, I'm just going to go with 10 teams that I like. Uh, again, it'll keep me more invested. Uh, 10 teams, DH rule in effect. And then uh, top, I'm thinking top six will make the playoffs kind of like, uh, like football with the top the first and second place teams get a buy, or what I may do is um, I may do top five where the first team gets a buy. Again, I'm still thinking that one through, uh, but yeah, so 10 teams, and uh, that's about it. So I'm going to start looking through the cards now. I kind of have an idea of like three or four of the teams. If anybody has ideas from the seasons that I rattled off, please leave it in the comments, teams that you like. Uh, I could definitely weigh them against some of my choices. And if I think, you know, if I say to myself, yeah, you know what, that would have been a great idea to take that team. Uh, or I like somebody from that team. Like the 77 Reds are very, very appealing to me because they have Tom Seaver and because of that George Foster uh, monster card from 77. Uh, but is that going to be enough to hold my interest for the entire year? That's the biggie. Um, also teams like, like I'm a huge Tony Gwynn fan. Been a Tony Gwynn fan since I'm a kid. Do I have a good enough season from the cards that I have to put Tony Gwynn in? Would that team be able to hold my interest outside of Tony Gwynn's four at bats or five at bats a game? So, um, definitely going to put in some some minnows and uh, some minnows definitely for for feasting purposes for some of the bigger shark teams in in, in there. So maybe a two thousand three Detroit Tigers comes in. Maybe there's a sixty nine Padres or a sixty nine Pilots, um, but definitely want to weigh all of my options and uh, make this something that very interactive with you guys because I'm, I'm up to 70 subscribers now, which is awesome. So thank you. And um, 
make this something that's very interactive and appreciated because I'm giving this back to you guys because you guys have given so much to me already, which has been fantastic. So, um, yeah, I just, I can't wait. Uh, like, I'm getting that itch again to start rolling, and it feels good. So I just want to be able, I want to take this momentum, and especially, you know, baseball season right around the corner. It's going to be fantastic. So, quick recap. 10-team, 54-game season. Uh, I'm going to make the lineups. I'm going to make the rotations. I'm going to make the roster choices. Uh, I have a ro an injury chart that I use in my strat league uh, that I'm probably going to implement here. If I do get a chance, uh, I'm going to uh, show it um, probably before the season starts. If anybody hasn't checked out, strat actually put up on their website, uh, if you want to play with the shift, they put up a shift chart, which is really cool. I won't use it with this because there's going to be older teams here that I at the time wouldn't have implemented the shift but uh definitely going to use that in my own personal like my 2015 replay that i'm doing with the mets i may start implementing that so um that being said strat pre-orders again uh the 31st of january is the first day to pre-order if you're going to opening day the doors open uh on february 10th at noon and the first orders ship on the 13th. I feel like a spokesman for the company, but just I've been on the website so much, it's kind of ingrained in my memory. Uh, they're doing the 2016 cards. They're doing a, a like a like a mini bat set. It's just loose t players, like loose legendary players. I think it's like 140 cards. I won't get that because I didn't get the previous sets. And if you go on eBay, the previous sets are being price gouged because of the new set coming out. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, 1949 was the other set that's being released. So, not my thing, not my cup of tea for 1949. So, I was hoping for 60, for 68, because I really, really, really wanted Denny McLean Super Advanced card. Um, but that's besides the point. So, uh, guys, keep rolling. Strat on, just like Earl from uh, Tenacious Strat says. You guys are the reason why I do this, and the community is growing. It's an old game, but the community is getting younger, which is fantastic. So, that being said... Enjoy, uh, and I will be posting again very, very soon.